some movement inside. Crimson Advocate, a little feisty. And they're off. Committee of one is very quick, so is Slider. And down at the rail, here's Crimson Advocate. Tiger Bell is up and on the pace, as is Big Evs. No Name Mets is off the pace today, four lengths off the lead, followed by Shards. And outside of Shards now, Committee of One, who broke well, is suddenly seven off the pace. Starlust moving through inside amidst waves. They are followed by Valiant Force on the outside of Cherry Blossom. And Azian is at the back of the field, around the far turn, and it's Crimson Advocate just in front, about a half length to Big Evs, pressing in second. Three to Tiger Bell, third. No Name Mets is on the inside of Slider, and they're followed by Starlust and Shards. Shards coming toward the eight ball and big abs on the outside looming menacingly Starlust is starting to close strong ground Crimson Advocate along the inside Cherry Blossom has surfaced later on the far outside Valiant Force is flying at big abs big as Valiant Force big abs has won the British Cup juvenile turf sprint over an on cunning Valiant Force and then for the minor award Starlust was in that battle along with no name at and Shards. Paul Teasdale with his family, his wife Rachel. Rachel, come and join us. Mick Appleby winning trainer, first Breeders' Cup win for all of you. Paul, first of all, for the man that you named this horse after, Paul Evans, what would he be, what would he be thinking now? He would be, he, he would love it. Uh, he would be like us, we'll be partying for a week and uh, he would be right with us. And he would, this is absolutely fantastic for Paul. It's a year on Wednesday since he died, uh, this Wednesday, so absolutely very fitting for a great guy, a great horse. Uh, we couldn't try. We couldn't have written any better. Absolutely amazing. You described him as a winner in life. This horse, Rachel, is a, a winner as well. And what about the man between you, Mick Appleby? Yeah, a true star. <laughs> true star. True star. Well, and well, I've, got well, a, I've, got a, I've got. I've got. I've got to thank the, t the team back home because all their preparation and everything to get ready for this. For this is, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, back home. <laughs> Mick, we'll speak in just a moment. We're going to hear from the winning rider, Tom Markman, who's with Donna. Tom, first of all, congratulations. This is a big win for you. This is your first time to ride a Breeders' Cup. Your Breeders' Cup debut, you come away with the win. A lot of effort went into this. Mick even schooled this horse with a bell at the starting gate. Can you just talk about the group effort? Yeah, honestly, like, just more super proud of the team and everyone, you know, Fred rides them every day. And uh, I think the only time that he hasn't been ridden by Fred was when I jumped on him the other morning here, going around the bend. And Tara as well, they've been meticulous in everything that he's done. He's, He's a little champion, he's taken it all within a stride and uh, no, proper, proper buzz to be aboard him today. Like that's, uh, that's as sharp a race as you'll get and it felt so easy on him, you know. We were, um, we were pretty comfortable, he sort of blew the bend a little bit and I was a bit worried but as soon as he leveled up he was, um, he was never getting beaten. You know, just, just big to be a part of such a wonderful day to back. Tom, you've given a lot of credit away, but to be fair to you, you won on him last time out. Brilliant ride today. Usually he's on the lead. They went super fast up front. Did you try to be in front or you just had to let him go? Uh, to be honest with you, I obviously spoke to, to Mick and the guys and, um, you know, obviously the a, plan A was always going to be go forward, but um, I kind of said, you know, we, we might not be able to get to the front here. They're, they're pretty quick. That position was taken? Yeah, it was taken, but I was happy staying out on the three deep trail because I knew he'd just build momentum um, and we managed to sort of Got Tiger Bell behind us and then end up on the 2D trail instead and save a bit of ground. But look, he's a, he's a dude. He's, he just takes it all so easy. And um, yeah, as I said, look, I know I've offloaded the credit, but it, it deserves to go to everyone else because it's, it's ridiculously easy riding horses like this on a fast track. Well, congratulations. Obviously, a group effort, guys. Didn't get a chance to hear from the winning trainer. Striking for the first time here at a Breeders' Cup, Mick Appleby, you've trained many hundred winners in your career, but just describe your feelings today here in California. Um, still gobsmacked, to be honest. <laughs> still can't believe it. You've got a huge team of staff watching on at home. What, what does it mean to all of them? How much work has gone into bringing this horse here? Oh, yeah, I am mean, lots of work. I mean, Fred and Tyra have come here with him. I mean, they've done a great job. Fred rides him every day at home. And they've uh, done an absolute great job with him and all, all the staff who worked so hard through the winter and um, they deserve it. Will he be back next year? Never know. Let's hope so. Let's hope we see you at Del Mar in the turf sprint. Paul, Rachel and family, congratulations. Big Ebbs, Brittany making a big noise in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. 
subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.